Hey everyone, SRN347 here, and welcome back to my ongoing Duelist series, Road to Gold. In the last episode, I actually had my first loss of the season. Magmar so let's not do that again. Magmar. Well, I don't think we can do that again, as it won't be the first loss anymore. Anyway, getting into this, we have a Magmar Mirror, it looks like. A proper mirror as well. Both of us are vastly immortal. As opposed to the, uh, like, tinted mirror where I'm bath and my opponent is, a uh, Starhorn. Alright, let's see what kind of deck this guy is playing. Apparently my control variant of Magmar is actually highly unconventional. A building, huh? Well, as they say, I have ways of dealing with you. The, the way the build mechanic works, um, you see that 2 cost 10-10 that says build 3? Yeah, it starts out as a 0-10 and becomes that in 3 of his turns. The build mechanic is such a magnet for removal. No one wants to kill a 0-10 by attacking it for 10 damage. That's 10 damage that could have gone elsewhere. Everyone just uses spot removal on building. That is another building. No, it isn't. Blood Surge. That's Inspire. Just whenever you use your Blood Bound spell, you, you trigger that effect. So gain plus 2 plus 2, huh? Hmm. I'll play this here, and next turn I should be able to Fractal Replicate it. Go ahead and hit me in the face for 4, plus another 3 from your general. Just damage. Damage never killed anyone. Ah, just what I was afraid of. Freaking light bender. Bending the light. I like that light. Lightbender, you can go away, please. And... Hey, get... I will place you here. And this time, hopefully I'll get to Fractal Replicate. Don't you dare lightbend me again. Lightbender is a pretty good card. Um, alright, I don't think I explained that. Dispel, um, negates all effects, and, um, all applied buffs to it. So, these are just vanillas now. They have no effects. A building? Okay, I can deal with that. Greater Fortitude. Way to overextend. You know I can just kill that with the Taget, right? And I think I'll do exactly that. You don't need it. And do I want to trade? 
No, I want to hide over here. He can have that mana spring. I don't care that much for it. Now, he could potentially Plasma Storm, although he would take out his own building and, like, use up all his mana, so... I'm not that worried about Plasma Storm. Also, not that many people actually play Plasma Storm anymore. It's kind of fallen out of use. Bro. Oh, you do not want to play a battle pet against Tayget. Tayget will eat you alive if you play a battle pet. Hmm. I don't think I need this, even though it is perfectly on curve right now. I'll go here. I don't feel like giving him that. I should probably use this. There's like no reason in the world not to. And your battle pet can proceed to kill itself. That is why you don't play battle pets near Tayget. Hmm, I could fractal replicate again. You can never have too much Tayget. Amplification, alright, I can kill that anytime I want. I could kill it if I want to, I just don't want to. You gonna kill Tayget? You are playing this game quite dangerously. Put four copies of a random battle pet in a 2x2 two two area. Hmm. I could go for Silithar. But I think Double Rebuke is actually the smart play here. And I am threatening lethal without any minions. Also his hand is dwindling, that's always nice. Fractal Replication, why are you still in my hand? I already played one of you and replaced the other, and I only run two. Well, he needs two minions to protect himself, and I know you ain't threatening lethal. Paradon. Alright, that's a beefy minion. Huh. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, let's see. Do I have to worry about lethal here? When you cast a spell, put a random arcanist in your action bar. Uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11 with his ability. I would be surprised lethal. Well, if he hits me with himself, that's just his high, actually. Deal with it! He has one card in hand. Yeah, I don't think I have to worry about surprise lethal. Oh my god, did you actually top deck the the amplification? Fractal replication, you are kidding me. Although I think I still have lethal. Because either he moves this to kill the egg, and then this kills him, or he doesn't, the egg catches, and I kill that, then kill him. Oh, 
You are joking. Actually, no, that's still lethal. This kills that, and then I go over there and kill him. Yeah. I was so worried he would actually turn that around. No comebacks on this channel. Unless they're being had by me. Alright, that gets me up to rank 15. Now I need four orbs to rank up instead of three. I, I might not make it to golden time in this season. Each season lasts one month. Hmm. Vitruvian, huh? Actually, that's kind of good against Vitruvian. Um, that and... Yeah, get that. Pyromancer, huh? My kingdom for a natural selection. That ain't natural selection. Well, that should put on some pressure at least. The Pyromancer opening is pretty strong, even though you do yield the Mana Springs to your opponent. Like, look at this, he gets to deal 2 damage to both of us with no counterattack. Blast will get counterattacked by ranged, though, so keep that in mind. But I don't have any ranged in my deck. I could potentially Plasma Storm next turn. Okay, that's still in Plasma Storm range. If he kills the egg, he's making my decision so much easier. Now play an Obelisk. Overcommit a little. You know you want to. I don't have a Plasma Storm, and anyone who tells you otherwise is lying. Play it. Play it. You know you want to play it. Yes! He played it. Ah, uh, thank you. You are too kind. I don't think I want to trade right now. No, Vitruvian is generally aggressive. You want to drag things out, outgrind them. Also, I want my hand to improve. This Ether Master is not helping. Which is ironic, given its role. I probably replace Ether Master more than I replace anything else. You can get an extra replace. I sure can. Replaced. Hmm. An obelisk. Where are you summoning it? Right there. Perfect, I get three removal. I don't need this. Ooh, sweet. If this Sunsteel lives, next turn I get more. I'll kill this without even leaving one durability. That's what I like to call value. And as much as I'd like that face damage, I should really remove this. Now please don't have Trophic Decay or something. I want to get double sun steel. Ah, oh, that value is gonna be so good. Don't ruin this for me. I know you ain't going face. I have seven attack. 
Ah, I'm gonna be killing it. Well, I won't be needing this, I guess. Do I really want to play that onto an empty board? Seven, fourteen. I will play it onto an empty board just because it threatens lethal. There is literally no other reason. What is this? Where did these spikes come from? That's not a visual glitch, right? Weird. Entropic decay? Nope! It's bouncing a minion. You know I have opening gambit, right? Okay, well, I don't need two of you. Hmm, not bad. Two, five, that's exactly seven. Actually, yeah, that's fine. Yep. T minus one turn until lethal. Now what does exhuming sand do again? Um Alright, oh if he summons a minion, he gets a, a two two vanilla here. Is there anything I need to worry about right now? I mean, there's always cards I have to worry about, but which ones are they? Well, that's not one of them. I have the egg. You know, if he'd have gone down to and played the shield master here, he would have actually lived. I'll give him a well played. Alright, that gets me a bonus car. Sweet. If I get one more consecutive win, that'll buff me up to 14. Yeah, I'll go for it. Unlock over a dozen hidden achievements as you play more matches. They are not wrong. Magmar versus Vitruvian. Hey, another Vitruvian player. But this time I get to go first. If that makes a difference. Which it might. It might. Young Silithar, you are good, but I don't need two of you. By the way, whenever you're going first, always go for the diagonal so you threaten to get the Mana Spring. Don't play straight like this and hope to get this Mana Spring, because they'll take it every time. That is what, like, bronze players do. If you're summoning a Battle Pet, though, it should go here. Battle Pets won't cooperate there anyway. So these things summon a 2-2 with a brush that disappear at the end of each turn. They summon it at the start of each year turn. 
which is actually pretty great value for only two mana. Why does that only cost two mana? That is so worth at least three. It is Vitruvian's power play though. So I can see why they'd want it to be worth two. Portal Guardian. Whenever you spend it a minion, it gains plus one attack. Oh, and it has Frenzy. That part is easy to forget. Pyromancer, huh? Do you like to play with fire? I could play this on curve, but I don't want to. That makes me kind of bad. Um. Yeah, I think I hit the portal guardian here. Take one damage now to avoid having to take two damage later. Maybe even three. Fireblaze obelisk. You should not retreat like that. Also, you probably should have killed Taget before summoning that there. Just saying. People misplay around Taget all the time. Like, it's not a sentinel. The effect is public knowledge. You can see what it says. <laughs> Why is that? Oh, this gives it plus one attack, right. I do not need this. Let's kill that. And... And what else? Do I want to get or some steel? I have the feeling you can kill some steel. Let's play another take it. You can never have too much take it. Ooh, speaking of not having too much take it. Universe. I don't know what it is you did to wrong me in the past, but apology accepted. Okay, so he's not killing the Taget this turn. Unless he's about to buff this by two. Scion's second wish. Nope, just another obelisk. Oh, okay. That is a very awkward way to kill this. I mean, it does set my plan for replication back marginally. Okay, so first I'll kill this. One thing I love about hitting these obelisks is they don't hit back. They have zero attack to them. Um, and let's play a Sun Seal this time. Maybe that'll live. Four cards in hand. He is not running out of resources anytime soon. Nor am I. No damage from generals, alright. There better be more, because I can just kill that for free right now. Okay. That's a little better. Jeez, you are overcommitting so much to that. Um, what do I want here? 
<laughs> that is so tempting, actually. Let's see. I want this to go here. I wouldn't mind making copies there. But yeah, let's put this here. And this here. Yo, I heard you like Sunsteel Defender. So have a bunch of them. And have another one next turn. Oh, I, I love resolving a good fractal replication. I'm fine with that. Wait. Did that gain one attack off of that being summoned when it's summoned something like that? Okay, that is weird. That is some janky ruling. But I'm not in a position to complain right now, all things considered. Yeah, I had so much possible value fighting next turn. Either this, this, or both. Ooh, I unlocked a Golden Plasma Storm. I might actually start using that. And I'm rank 14. Well, it's been fun. I have been SRN347, and I will see you next time on Road to Gold.